The first thing I ever painted was the sky. My mom was a seamstress and she had rolls and rolls of butcher paper that she'd let me have a bit of from time to time. And on those restless summer days, she would um, she would help me spread the paper across our driveway and I would dip my hands into the paint and spread blue everywhere. <laughs> to another person, I'm quite sure it would look like I was just a weird kid playing with paint. But to me, it felt like I was creating an infinite expanse of my own. Um, <laughs> and I know that sounds silly, but for some reason, even as a kid, my mind seemed to like wandering out there. I think I've always been fascinated by the sky, but when I was younger, I didn't have the right words to explain why exactly. I didn't know that it was because of how the sky never looked the same. Um, the colors and the lights and the textures changed constantly, dictated by so many variables like the time of day, season, air quality, um, the scattering molecules, right? And even at night, the darkness is still slightly different based on the moon and the clouds, sometimes even the stars. We know it as a singular thing, we call it the sky. It's not often we hear people casually say the skies, <laughs> but if we take that word singular, singularity, in the mathematical sense it suddenly becomes an infinite value or if we look at it in the astronomical sense, infinite density. Wow. And I like, I like to think of it whenever I interact with someone. Like when I look at you as an individual, as a singularity in all of your uniqueness, I, I see so much depth. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but if there's just so much... I will never be able to completely understand, but there's a fascination that I, that, that is waiting to be explored and lingered upon, mm. lingered upon kind of like a, like a lazy summer's day. The ones where the sky wakes you warmly in the morning and then glazes you with days in the afternoon stuns you in the moments before dusk and quiets you in the evenings. That's you. That's how I think of you. And how I think of the sky. So, you can look at these paintings as landscapes, but I like to see them as portraits of the sky. It's so funny. <laughs> Two decades after my first ever paintings, Nothing seems to have really changed much, huh? Thank you so much for spending time with me here today as I painted my way through the afternoon. It was very relaxing. Um, if you enjoyed this, please let me know somehow whether it's through liking or commenting or sending me an, a message. Um, I'd like to hear from you and it'll let me know if there's a desire for this and I can film and share more of my painting sessions. But yeah. Um, other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.